Hi, I'm Andy with Big League Lawns and I'm here today to help you install your new Checkmate striping kit on your MTD manufactured machine. Now before we start the video, I want to go ahead and explain to you what we're looking for with these MTD machines. So um, what we would refer to is three quarters of the deck being steel and this back quarter here, I'll give you, I'll show you this, if we raise the deck all the way up, what you're looking for is this back quarter to be high density PVC. Um, so that's basically what we're looking for on these machines and that's what we'll show you today. All right, so for this installation, it'll help you guys to have the mower slightly suspended in the air. Now you can do that any which way, um, any household item you have. We're gonna use a block of wood today, um, so like a two by four or whatever you have basically handy in the house, um, so that the mower is suspended in the air enough to be able to take everything off and get to the access point, but is also safe enough so that it's not gonna come tumbling down or risk injuring you in any way. So that's what you're gonna wanna start with. Um, now, the next step is to gather your tools. So um, I have in front of me all of the tools that we're gonna need. Um, so we have the roller here. Um, next, we're gonna have the hardware kit that comes with uh, the purchase of the roller. So you'll have everything you need there. We'll get to that later on in the video. But tools I have, uh, screwdriver, that's just gonna help me to take off the hubcaps um, of the mower. So it's not crucial, but it is optional. I have a 9 16 wrench. Um, now that's gonna help me take off the tires and other such bolts like that. The three quarter inch wrench or socket, it doesn't matter. Um, that's just gonna be used for these channel nuts here in the roller. Uh, and you have a 3 8 socket or wrench as well. Um, that'll be used later in the process as well. So those are the tools you need and we can get started. All right, so now that we have the mower safely propped up in the air and it's ready to go, the wheels are freely spinning, as you can see, uh, we're gonna clear access to our mounting point. So the first step is to remove the bagger if you currently have it on. If not, that's cool, um, we'll get ready. But we're gonna go ahead and remove the bagger by just simply lifting the flap up and pulling it out. All right, so now we're ready to go. Um, I'm gonna move to the tire and we'll take that off first. All right, so our first step is to take off the tire. Now to take off the tire, we're gonna, this is where the screwdriver comes in handy if you want. Um, you just have to remove this hubcap that's over top of it. Uh, so all you have to do really is just put the screwdriver behind and pop it right off and it comes off easy as that. All right, so we'll set that aside for now. All right, then we're gonna need our 9 16 wrench uh, to take off this 3 8 lock nut that keeps the tire on. So we're gonna turn this counterclockwise uh, until it comes off here. All right, then once you have that 3 8 lock nut off, all you're gonna have to do is just take the tire off and we'll set that aside and come back to it later. Okay, so removing the tire is gonna give us access to our mounting point. Now, down here, uh, this hole that actually houses the debris flap is where we're gonna be mounting to. As you can see right here, uh, this little spot is where we're gonna actually mount our bracket into. All right, so at this point, it's gonna be okay for us to go ahead and remove the rear skirt. Um, so that we can start with the install. So you're gonna to wanna to lift up the bagger door um, just to clear your way and make it easier for you to take this out. Now the way to take this off, because this is keyed, the ends of uh, each of the sides of the rear skirt are keyed, so there's only really one way to pull it out. The best way is to flip it all the way up so that it's facing straight up and down, and then you'll be able to basically just pull it out one side at a time and release it from the machine. And then once you have that out, we're ready to get on with the next step. All right, so at this time, we're ready to start installing the Checkmate striping kit. So the first step is to install the mounting brackets that will attach right to the hole that we determined earlier. So you're gonna grab your hardware pack, and inside your hardware pack, you'll find the bracket, one of the mounting brackets. Um, if I can grab it out of there. And you'll find that on the bracket, the hardware has been pre-assembled in the order that it's actually going to be mounted on the machine. All right, so starting with the bracket, we're just gonna unthread uh, the bolt from the connector nut. So we'll go ahead and take that out, set that aside, and then you'll want these three nylon bushings that were on top of this connector nut. Those are our next step. So you'll go ahead and just set the bracket down for a second. And you wanna take these three nylon bushings and place them into the, the hole where the rear skirt was, where we took it out of. And you'll actually just set those in there. Should stay just fine for you. And then we wanna move on to our bracket. So note that on the inside of this bracket here, when you take out the connector nut, there's a nylon bushing that currently sits in there. It's pre-drilled in, so it'll set in there just fine. So you're gonna wanna line the bracket up with the other nylon bushings in the hole, and then basically just place the connector nut through and make sure that it goes through on the other side. All right, so once we have our bracket installed and the connector nut pushed through and lined up, you wanna take the bolt on the other side. And before we go to install that, 
from your hardware kit, you'll have blue Loctite included. So you want to just go ahead and remove the cap from that. It just kind of screws right off. You might have to mess with it for a second. But as soon as you get that off, all we need is just a drop. And one little drop on the threads will secure it enough. So once you put that one little drop on there, go ahead and get rid of that. And we'll just thread this into the other side of the coupler nut. You can just go ahead and hand tighten that down until it's snug. And this bolt will actually secure the bracket to um, the frame or the, this PVC back here. Now that we have the bolt in place, all we have to do is simply tighten it down. So we'll use our 3 8 socket and the supplied 5 millimeter Allen wrench in your hardware kit. So you'll simply take the Allen wrench on one side and take the socket on the other. And now keep in mind when you're tightening this down, you want to make sure there's plenty of torque to keep it on there, but you don't want it so tight that the bracket can't move up and down. Because the goal here is to let the kit freely flow up and down with the contour of the ground. So if it is too tight where it's not moving up and down, you need to give it a little bit less, but keep it tight enough to keep it on there. So your end result should be something like this, where the bracket is firmly secured to the machine, but will also move up and down. All right, so at this point, I have taken the tire off and I've completed the steps of installation on the opposite side of the machine. So now we are ready to actually take the checkmate itself and install it to the brackets. All right, so now that we're ready to put the checkmate on the brackets, you'll need to notice that on top first, there are two bolts. These bolts have been pre-tightened down for shipping purposes, so you'll need your three-quarter inch wrench to take them off. So we'll wanna just loosen these up and go ahead and remove them from the channel itself. So do the same to the other side. and you'll save those for a second later. And underneath the bolts, you'll find each one had a locking washer, and then underneath the locking washer are sliding locking channel nuts. Now these channel nuts will stay pre-installed for you, but if they do happen to pop out, which is, you know, it can happen, they're very easy to put back in. So all you'll really need to do is put it into the channel, push down, and turn 90 degrees. That will lock it back into place into the channel, and it'll slide where you need to go. All right, so now we actually are going to put the mounting arms to the channel itself on the roller. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and find this locking channel nut in here, and you wanna line that up with the bracket, and you'll take your half inch bolt, and lock washer, if I can put them together here, and you'll simply thread those through the bracket and into the channel nut. And you just want to hand tighten these down for now because we'll do the other side as well and then line it up. So you want it still to be able to slide back and forth like I was talking about with those channel nuts. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. All right, so now that the installation of the checkmate is most of the way complete, we can go ahead and put the tires back on. But before we do that, you wanna make sure that the bolts in your channel are still finger tight because we still need to fine tune the adjustment before we complete the installation. All right, now we're ready to put the tire back on. So keep in mind that the spoked side of the wheel will actually face inward. So the flat, smooth side is gonna face on the outside. So we'll just go ahead and slide that back on. And your 3 8 lock nut will go right back on. And you'll use your 9 16th wrench again to go ahead and just tighten that back into place. All right, now once you have that on there, you're just gonna go ahead and put the hubcap back on. So you'll just line that up and give it a light tap in the center. And that sound you heard will be it actually sealing itself back onto the tire. All right, so at this time you can see that I've completed the tire installation on the other side. So we are all set to go ahead and make the final adjustment. So the final adjustment is just basically making sure that the roller is centered in between the two tires because we don't want the channel rubbing up against the tire and causing any issues there. So as long as you still have it hand tightened down, we're just gonna move it and make sure that, like I said, there's no, uh, no uh, interference from the channel onto the tires. And then you're just gonna go ahead and tighten down the bolts. 
lock those into the position. Alright, so at this time we have completed the installation of the Checkmate on your MTD manufactured machine. So before you, you finish up completely, you want to make sure, give it one final check here on the roller, make sure that this is freely floating up and down, and it's not going to cause you any issues there, and as long as that's good to go, then you are all set. And you can even reinstall your bagger, which I will do here, um, just to finish out. All right, so with the bagger installed and the roller moving up and down with no issues there, we are all set to go. So that does it for me and the installation of the Checkmate on the MTD manufactured machine. If you need any more information or would like to see anything else, just go to our website at www.bigleaguelawns.com or call us anytime at 800-411-0150. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.